for years, they thought that mo people, people's prediction, and Apple was probably the most notorious company that believed this, that mobile was going to sort of, that everybody would be watching TV on their phones. And, you know, but like, that didn't really happen. Um, Marion, what, you know, why, why didn't that happen? Like, what were some of the factors that sort of kept people watching more, watching on TV more? I mean, not that no, not that people don't watch on their phone, but not to the degree that was predict Steve Jobs thought. Yeah, I, I think we we think that we can multitask. We we can't, but we end up doing both, right? So you watch TV, and we had uh, Laura from Fremantle earlier today. She mentioned that seventy percent of uh, TV viewers actually use a phone as a companion. So I think. We shouldn't ex exclude, you know, uh, one versus uh, the other. Uh, d clearly, each cater to specific content and specific need states and places you are, you know, during the day. We had a great debate yesterday, and someone is saying, "Can you be watching television with a CTV in the bathroom?" No. Uh, <laughs> can you take it with you on the subway? No. So I think there's a bit of that uh, going on. We'll go back to Apple and why. Interestingly enough, to me, they failed in that space. Yeah. Um, but yeah, more on that later. Although I have stayed in hotels that have TVs in the bathroom. I always wonder who, who watches that. Like, who is that desperate that they need to turn it on while they're shaving? But anyway, so Jan, what are, you, what are some of your thoughts? Like, why did that, you know, and you guys have some research on this too, probably. Like, sure. Yeah. Yeah, so we actually have been tracking this each quarter uh, in, in US, Japan, India and a few other countries. And I'm pretty much convinced that this is the factor of the size of your living room and size of your TV. So in most of the developed country, we have a fancier room and fancier TV, then let's say you're gonna watch a one hour show. I mean, you do want to like sit in this kind of comfortable chair and you want to enjoy the show using the big screen. But if you look at India, Brazil, China, the, the many people do not have that kind of the setup, then you see the huge amount of the mobile viewership is pretty big. So, so in the, based on our measurement in all the kind of the um, Western countries, you basically see like 80, 85%-ish big screen viewership versus mobile. But in many emerging countries, the big screen is actually only 30 to 40%. It, can I say? Of course. Also, an age thing to it uh, because I, I thought about that. Yeah. So uh, we also cut this by ages. It's interesting that yes, the younger people do have higher mobile viewership in the U.S., but as they get older, their their behavior all changes. And my thesis is when you start to get out of the college, you get a job, you get an apartment, then you get you can't afford right bigger room with bigger TV. Then you still want to watch it on the bigger TV. So. Uh, I don't believe this will change in the US because we've been tracking this for the last five, six years. I mean, it doesn't really move at all. But in, in the Asia, US. it does, right? In like, Asia, it does, yeah. yes. Yeah. In Asia, it feels like, like I was in Cambodia uh, in February, mm -hmm. uh, highly recommended. But yeah, everyone was watching their phone That's correct. all day long. Yeah. Right. So, now, Justin, how much did it have to do also with the pricing? Didn't the price of TVs? come down a lot? Yeah. Sure, the prices of, price of TVs, TVs have, have come down a lot, right? The, <clears throat> The, in terms of uh, compared to, uh, I forget what the date was, but like 20 years ago, TVs are one of the only durable goods where prices have actually stayed flat or gone down over time. And that's because the technology has advanced and the, the, the chips, the screens, all of that has become more affordable. And so we're able to get these big, beautiful television sets into the living rooms. You know, the thing about the uh, watching on anything other than a TV set is actually the way research has been done that shows that regardless of the screen that you're watching, you fill the same field of view with the screen. So if you're watching uh, on a mobile phone, you hold it here and it fills the same field of, of, of view for you as if you were on your television set because your television set's on the wall, right? I think another thing, I think the pandemic showed us something also, right? I think there was a thought that there was gonna be a lift in mobile viewing because we made it social, right? We, all these kind of uh, video on demand opportunities started offering watch parties, right? Where friends, like my kids who were 
what, four years ago, 11 and, and nine, might watch with their cousins or their friends because they couldn't be together. But it just didn't really take off. And, and we want to watch, we really want to watch in the same room together. 